They are memories they're desperate to get back. A couple from Livonia never thought a car break in, in Detroit would bother them. It wasn't even their car, but that car belonged to their wedding photographer and a laptop stolen from inside of that car held their wedding photos. It was like a dream come true. It was nine years in the making and it was wonderful. And we couldn't be more excited to share that special date with all of our friends and family. Jessica and Justin Wetzler were enjoying their time as newlyweds, reliving all the details of their big day. They got married back on September 14th in Grand Rapids. It went flawless. Uh, you, know, you know, you always have little jitters on your wedding day and anything that could go wrong and it seemed to be working so smoothly. They were thrilled with their photographer who captured their special day from start to finish. They were supposed to get their pictures on October 14th, but a few days ago, they got bad news. She was at a Lions game uh, this past Sunday, um, left the gear there in the car, and it was, you know, taken by somebody that obviously was in the area. Everything their photographer captured is gone. The couple says their photographer offered to give them their money back, but the photos can't be replaced. If you do happen to have the computer, the SD cards, or the hard drives, we just want the actual photos back. Now Jessica and Justin are making this desperate plea for help. We just, we just hope that somebody has, you know, any what decency and good human nature to come back and get us the photos. That's the end game for us is just being able to, to relive those photos and relive the day. Out of the kindness of your heart, if you could return the photos, um, the equipment, anything, we would be so appreciative. And two other couples wedding images were also on those camera cards that were stolen that day. So a total of three couples are affected by this. If you have any information at all that might help this couple in Livonia or the other two, we've posted more information. It's on our website. Click on Detroit.com.